Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> welcome to the Rajaska Kasungura YouTube channel, a platform where we normally call a spade a spade and not a big spoon. Kaka, today, Margaret Nyakango has released a bomb blast, a case study that we are going to use to ask tough questions to the Kenya Kwanzaa regime. This data doesn't lie because it is a certified data from the controller of budget herself, our hero who doesn't hide anything, Margaret Nyakango. From the report, recently, you heard some people shouting on top of their vehicles that we must live within our means as a country. They lecture doctors that they have no money to honor their 2017 collective bargaining agreement that was entered into between the doctors and the Ministry of Health in a seven bench representatives from both ends. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the people telling us to live within our means, are they living within their means themselves? That is the big question in this video. They have severally told us, it's high time as a country we stop borrowing and live within our means. But the big question is, do the giants live within our means as a country? You will get an answer after my analysis. According to the report released by Margaret Nyakango, it indicates that President William Ruto leads in overspending on hospitality. The State House and the office of the president, they are leading in this country on what we call over expenditure, meaning the office of William Ruto is leading by living outside or beyond our means as a country. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot keep telling us to live within our means when you as a person, you are living beyond our means as a country. If we are to have this candid conversation, and I told you a few days ago, ladies and gentlemen, we can only sit to discuss this issue if the promoters of the agenda decide to drop their ego and live within our means. If they do that, then I bet we will also come down as Kenyans to have a conversation. Now, in his first year in office, the financial year ended 2022-2023. Ruto has spent a whooping cash of 653.3 million on entertaining status guests. You heard it well. Not buying medicine. Not paying our soaring loan. No. Not paying teachers. No. 653.3 million on just making guests happy in state house. Na huyu ndiye mtu anasema is lecturing us that as a country we need to live within our means. Ile sarakasi iko hii Kenya mimi imenisinya. Now, according to the same report, state house spent 16% more than what Uhuru spent. 16% more. Wale walituambia uhuru left empty coffers. They are spending 
16% more just to entertain people. In the state house. Muziki. Chingri, chingri. Muziki to state house in a kukula. Mm. 653 million is in a kufa. Hey. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Ruto's office alone, according to the report, spent 223.5 million in just buying food and playing music in the state house. Ah, uh ulisikia vizuri. Sio mimi nimesema ni report ya Jakango. Hapa siongezi sukari, I just I bring it to you the way it was reported. Yaani ofisi ya Ruto ilitumia milioni 223 kwa wale hamwele wiki zungu nukuta tano kwa kununua chakula na kucheza muziki katika ofisi ya Ruto. Hawa ndio watu wanatuambia wa Kenya, madakitari, we must live within our means. Are they leading by example? That's the question. Jeff Koinange says the big question tonight. <laughs> Regarding a shower, Rigiji spent 206.9 million on hospitality alone. Yani, Rigadi ametumia milioni miambili na sita nukutatisa. Hmm? <laughs> eh? Ha! Hey! Pesa zenu zinakulua. Pesa zenu zinanyonywa. Lakini wakikuja kanisani. Hallelujah. Rabashanda. Wangwana! Wanakuja wamepa... Wamekula wamepanguza mudomo wanapoongea wanaongea kama malaika wanaongea kama angel Gabriel he at we must live within our means na status wametumia 209 million kwa kununua chakula na kupiga gita that is a government we have ladies and gentlemen uhuru alisema a looting government looting spree eating spree Kindiki spent 291.1 million on hospitality. Iyo siyo ya kupanda ndege kwenda, bo, kwenda, kwenda, kwenda West Pokot. Hii si ya kulipa asikari mishara. Mm -mm. Hii ni ya kukunywa chai na kupiga muziki. 291 million. Just like that, zimeenda. Lafu, Kendiki is just standing with Soprano, lecturing doctors on how their protest is illegal. By the way, does this government knows we have a scarcity of doctors in this country? Do you even know? Do you know we have about around uh, let me be very specific so that I don't miss this data. Do you know that we have 14 doctors that serve 10,000 Kenyans in this country? 14 doctors. They serve 10,000 Kenyans in this country. Mark you. With that number, some doctors are fleeing this country due to poor working conditions. The Kenya Kwanzaa regime must know even if they employ all jobless doctors and borrow from Tanzania, Uganda, and Rwanda combined, we will not have enough doctors in this country. We still have less. So the threats that you are spreading here and there of sacking them, they are what we call juvenile and cheap threats. Kindik is spending 291 million in taking tea. Gashaw was spending 206 million in taking tea. Ruto spends 223 million in just taking tea. And then they have an audacity to stand in the public on media and to make matters worse in the church podium 
and they are lecturing us on how we should live within our means. Ladies and gentlemen, they must lead by example before we sit down to have this candid conversation. Otherwise, it's a hot air that can never ever go through our ears. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nissan.